I'd like to tell you a story about a woman that I know who has a brother, and his name is Shimon. Now, Shimon's life has been a roller coaster, a little bit of ups, but mainly downs. He's been in a lot of trouble. He's been in and out of jail, uh, constant trouble. And whenever his parents or his sister, siblings, don't hear about Shimon, they panic, they worry, like, where is Shimon? So it happened to be that one day went by, a week went by, two weeks, a month, two months have gone by, and they do not know where is Shimon. They made phone calls, they made texts, they called the police, they couldn't find him. They didn't know where had he gone. Was this another one of Shimon's dramas, or was something really serious? They were really getting worried, and then finally, two days ago, they get a text from Shimon. Okay, there was a sign of relief. He's alive. Baruch Hashem, thank God. And then other emotions started to set in. The anger, the frustration, the upset. How can Shimon only care about Shimon? He's so selfish. He only thinks about himself. Pause. From the story, and I'm going to tell you, let's go back and talk about the day of Tisha B'Av. What happened on Tisha B'Av, the first Tisha B'Av that there was, the 12 spies came back after 40 days of looking and spying and seeing Eretz Israel. They saw so many things here in Israel that were so good, and they came back with an agenda. They started to speak about the land, they started to panic, they started to say that, you know, there's, there, there are giants that live there, and the people kept hearing this report, and it says in the Gemara Masechet Soda that when the spies, ten spies, said that we can't go up, we can't go against them. They're bigger, me may know, they're bigger than us. The actual, the people hurt me may know. They're bigger, these people are more giants, they're bigger even than God. And with that, they raised their voices and they started to weep and cry and one panic led to another panic and fear bred fear. And this was the day of Tisha B'Av. This is the day that's decreed that Hashem said, okay, you want to cry? I'm going to give you something to cry about. In the Sefer Yetziah, what Moshe Shabira brings in the name of the Gra, that the Koach, the month of, of the Av, is the faculty of hearing, of listening, of hearing. And he brings there that the first time we see this about hearing was in that incident with the spies that the people were hearing, we can't go, we can't get into this land. It's going to be too scary, it's going to be too difficult. There's no way that we can do this. Why? Because they're even bigger than God. This is what they were hearing. It was not what was being said necessarily, but this is what they were hearing. And from that destruction of hearing led to eventually the Khurban, the destruction of the base of Mikdash. It led to fraction and rivalry. It's listening to people and not really understanding what they're saying. It's interpreting things in the way you want to interpret it. And what happened? Going back to Shimon. I thought to myself about the Shimon. And I thought to myself about his family and how they were in so much pain. And they said, he's so selfish. He only cares about himself. And I took a pause and I thought to myself, wow, they sound very stressed and very angry and very upset. It's like a korban, it's a destruction, it's a separation. And I thought to myself, would it be possible just to take a pause and to ask oneself, is this the absolute truth that he's selfish, that he only cares about himself? Do I know this? Could I possibly know this? No. And if it's not the absolute truth, is there a way to turn this around? Because the thoughts that he only cares about himself, that he's so selfish, what is this doing? It's causing so much stress, so much anxiety. It's, not, it's causing destruction. Is there a way to take the khurban and make it into a chibur, make it into a connection? And if we take this and we turn it around and we say, it's not that Shimon doesn't care about anybody. Shimon doesn't care about himself because a person who cares about themselves cares about others. A person who has enough sense of self cares about his family. And the moment we start to think, wow, I'm not listening it in that way. I'm going to listen it in a different way. I'm going to really hear what's going on in a reality that doesn't cause me stress and anger and resentment. And in a reality that doesn't break me apart. But in a reality that actually connects me. Wow. It's so much more peaceful and calm. This is the month of Chodesh Av. It's the month of Shmia, of listening, of hearing. It's the month when we can take the koach of listening and hearing and really listening well and seeing what is really going on in this other person? And I'd like to tell you one more story and end it with this. That the other day I had a very difficult, I had a, actually a good morning and then a very difficult afternoon. And I took three of my children, we went to the supermarket. 
and I was in this mood and this thoughts and thinking about things and listening to myself in this negative way. I had a bottle of olive oil and I dropped it on the floor, glass everywhere, oil. The workers were very nice, they were helping clean it up, and I went to the cashier. Now, I know the supermarket, it's two doors down from my building, two, two buildings down from me. I know all the cashiers, I know all their names. And the cashier, she looks at me, her name's Orly. She looks at me and she reaches out her arm and she touches my arm and she says, Ilana, it's okay. Akotov zibeseder. And I felt such a connection. I felt so much gratitude. I felt, wow, this woman's really, she, I didn't even say a word and she knows that I'm having a really hard day. And she's reaching out to me and she's making a connection. The month of Av is about connection. It's about listening, really, what is someone saying? What do we really need to be hearing? Is there a way when we're hearing something that's causing us upsetness to turn it around? It's the month of turning things around, of making the destruction into Bezat Hashem, the construction of the Beis HaMikdash Lishim.